Welcome to the History of Simple Things, where we delve into the fascinating history behind the little things that shape our world. Lysol is a name synonymous with cleanliness, disinfection, and hygiene. It's a household staple, found in countless homes around the world, trusted for its ability to eliminate germs and ensure a safer environment. But have you ever wondered about the origins of this iconic product? Who was the mastermind behind Lysol, and how did it evolve into the disinfectant powerhouse it is today? In this video, we're diving deep into the fascinating history of Lysol, tracing its origins back to the late 19th century, exploring the mind behind its invention, and understanding how it became a trusted ally in the fight against disease. To understand who invented Lysol, we must travel back to the late 1800s, a time when sanitation and public health were rapidly becoming significant societal concerns. The Industrial Revolution brought about unprecedented urbanization, leading to overcrowded cities where diseases could spread like wildfire. It was during this era that Dr. Gustav Raupenstrauch, a German chemist, first developed what would become Lysol. Raupenstrauch was deeply concerned with the public health challenges of his time, particularly the spread of diseases like cholera and typhoid fever. His invention was not originally conceived as a household cleaner, but rather as a means to combat these deadly diseases. Raupenstrauch's original formula for Lysol was a phenol-based disinfectant. Phenol, also known as carbolic acid, was already known for its antiseptic properties, having been used by Joseph Lister in the 1860s to reduce surgical infections. Raupenstrauch's innovation lay in adapting this powerful disinfectant for broader use, particularly for public health purposes. His Lysol disinfectant was initially used in hospitals and public buildings to sanitize surfaces and prevent the spread of germs. It was a breakthrough at a time when understanding of germs and bacteria was still in its infancy, and the concept of disinfection was gaining traction as a critical public health measure. Lysol quickly became a valuable tool in the fight against infectious diseases. One of its first major applications was during the cholera outbreak in Hamburg, Germany, in 1892. The city was struggling to contain the epidemic, and authorities turned to Raupenstrauch's disinfectant as a solution. Lysol was used to clean streets, public buildings, and even the drinking water supply. Its effectiveness in curbing the spread of cholera was a significant endorsement of its potential as a public health tool. However, while Lysol was gaining recognition in Europe, it was not yet the household name it would eventually become. The early formulation of Lysol, while effective, also posed certain risks. Phenol, the active ingredient, is highly toxic and can cause severe burns if it comes into contact with skin. This toxicity limited its use to trained professionals in controlled environments. Moreover, the strong odor of phenol made Lysol less appealing for use in homes. Despite these challenges, Lysol continued to gain traction, especially among institutions concerned with public health. The product's efficacy in combating disease overshadowed its drawbacks, and it began to spread beyond Germany to other parts of Europe. Lysol crossed the Atlantic in the early 20th century, arriving in the United States at a time when the country was grappling with its own public health challenges. The early 1900s saw several epidemics, including the 1918 influenza pandemic, which underscored the need for effective disinfectants. It was during this period that Lysol was introduced to American households, but not without controversy. In the early days, Lysol was marketed not only as a disinfectant, but also as a feminine hygiene product. Advertisements from the 1920s and 1930s promoted Lysol as a means of contraception, a practice that was dangerous and ultimately led to severe health complications for many women. This dark chapter in Lysol's history highlights the risks associated with the product's early formulations. The use of Lysol for feminine hygiene, 
was based on the false premise that its disinfectant properties could prevent pregnancy. Unfortunately, this led to numerous cases of poisoning and even death, as the toxic phenol caused burns and other severe health issues. Despite these dangers, Lysol's popularity continued to grow, fueled by its effectiveness in other areas of household sanitation. Over time, the company behind Lysol, Lan and Fink, which had acquired the product's rights, began to refine the formula to make it safer and more suitable for everyday use. The transformation of Lysol from a harsh phenol-based disinfectant to the more user-friendly product we know today was a gradual process. By the mid-20th century, Lane and Fink had begun to reformulate Lysol to reduce its toxicity and improve its safety profile. This involved phasing out phenol and replacing it with less harmful chemicals like benzylconium chloride, a quaternary ammonium compound that retained Lysol's disinfectant properties without the same level of risk. These changes made Lysol more accessible to the average consumer, allowing it to become a staple in American households. As Lysol's formula evolved, so did its marketing. The company shifted its focus from promoting Lysol as a multi-purpose disinfectant to emphasizing its role in household cleaning. This was a pivotal move as it aligned with the growing consumer awareness of hygiene and cleanliness in the home. The post-World War II era saw a boom in consumer goods, and Lysol was positioned as an essential product for the modern, health-conscious family. Advertisements from the 1950s and 1960s featured images of sparkling clean kitchens and bathrooms, reinforcing Lysol's reputation as the go-to disinfectant for protecting loved ones from germs. Lysol's history is closely tied to various public health campaigns, particularly in the United States. One of the most significant was the polio epidemic in the 1940s and 1950s. As the nation grappled with the fear of polio, Lysol was marketed as a critical tool for disinfecting surfaces and preventing the spread of the virus. Schools, hospitals, and households were encouraged to use Lysol regularly to reduce the risk of infection. This association with disease prevention further solidified Lysol's reputation as a trusted disinfectant. Today, Lysol is more than just a disinfectant. It's a brand that represents a commitment to health and safety. The product line has expanded to include a wide range of cleaning solutions, from sprays and wipes to laundry sanitizers and air fresheners. This diversification reflects Lysol's ability to stay relevant in a competitive market by continually adapting to consumer needs. The COVID-19 pandemic in particular brought Lysol back into the spotlight as a crucial tool in the fight against the virus. As households and businesses scrambled to find effective disinfectants, Lysol became a symbol of protection and reassurance. The invention of Lysol is a story that spans more than a century, from the laboratories of a concerned German chemist to the shelves of homes around the globe. Dr. Gustav Raupenstrauch's invention was born out of a desire to combat the deadly diseases of his time, and while the product has evolved significantly since then, its core purpose remains the same. Lysol's history is a reflection of the broader changes in public health, consumer safety, and the ongoing battle against infectious diseases. Today, as we continue to face new health challenges, Lysol stands as a reminder of the importance of hygiene and the enduring impact of a single invention on the world. Thank you for watching. If you have suggestions for our next video, feel free to share them in the comments below. We'll be sure to give you an acknowledgement for your contribution. Thank you for joining us on this journey through the history of simple things. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and stay tuned for more stories woven through the smallest details.